I hope you are ready to rock. In today's episode, we are going to take a look at every single Guitar Hero game on the PlayStation 2. What are we drinking today? Today we're drinking Theme from the Bottom by Oakshire Brewing Company. It's a strawberry, pineapple, banana, smoothie, sour ale. Sounds amazing. You know the drill. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell icon so you never miss one of our bi-weekly uploads. And sit back, relax, pour yourself a beer if you care to, and let's talk about some rock and roll, PS2 style, Guitar Hero style. Let's go. WWE Hall of Famer Hacksaw Jim Duggan. And I want you to check out Gaming Off the Grid, tough guy. Just officially completed our set of Guitar Hero games on the PS2, which happens to be probably one of your favorite franchises. Um, it's one of my favorite franchises of all time. This is my original guitar from when I was a kid. Nice strap. Uh, I love it, dude. It's twine, but it works, <laughs> man. I, I love Guitar Hero. So the games started off, came out with a bang. I think we're going to go through all of them in the collection that are on the PS2, which towards the back end, they were on multiple consoles. Yes. But I think it's fun to see how the series evolved and maybe became oversaturated because it was kind of a, a series that I felt like was here, people were all in, and then it was gone. It just was like like really quick. But it's one of those times in video game history where I remember everyone playing it, you know, like Mario and Duck Hunt. Yes. Wii Sports, which would have came out later, obviously. This, a lot of non-gamers unified to play Guitar Hero. I feel like I feel Guitar like. Hero brought the family together. Mm -hmm. And obviously when Rock Band came out, it brought the family together even more. But Guitar Hero, it was such a unique thing. It was like, yeah. oh my God, you can play as a musician on yep. the PS. Like, that was so cool. Well, and I think they did a good job too generationally with the, the song selection. Yes. If, if you're a kid playing your PS2 and your parents walk by and hear, you know, Kansas or Tom Petty or Fleetwood Mac, they're like, oh, what are you playing? Hey, let me try that. Yeah. And uh, it was just that type of feeling. You don't have that as gamers a lot where you get the common knowledge non-gamer folk that are like, hey, I want to play your game. So it was just a really cool time. So let's start off with uh, Guitar Hero 1, the yes. one that started it all. This is a PS2 exclusive, Yes, this is correct? a PS2 exclusive. This came out in 2005. And actually, <clears throat> some background on Guitar Hero. Guitar Hero was inspired by Konami's Guitar Freaks, which was a thing in Japan. I've never played it, but like the menus and stuff very look like DDR. Okay. Yep. But it's one. Of, it's like a rhythm-based game. They stole that idea and made Guitar Hero, and man, it blew up. Guitar Hero 1 came with 47 tracks, and when this game came out, I was addicted, dude. I loved how like grungy and punk, just like the way it looked. Yeah, the, the songs, art style was yeah, really the cool. Song choices, man. Ah, I love it. The first time I remember playing this, I was uh, I was working nights at a dairy, and I was uh, in high school. It was the summer before I left to go to college, and I really did not care for Guitar Hero right out of the block because I played guitar, yeah. and so I thought it was just like okay, a bunch of people think they're playing guitar, but it's not like you're playing guitar. I didn't really get it right, and then when we would play it overnights on lunch breaks. We would all take a break together and we'd play it. And that is when the seed got planted. And I was like, you know what? It's not like playing guitar, but it's a rhythm based party game and it's a lot of fun. And I'll never forget playing it for the first time because I was completely wrong about yes. the game. I mean, it is weird going in as a musician though, because you play it differently and you for sure more rhythm instead of like following the song. Yeah. Um, so it is kind of frustrating if you're a musician, but I love how it's a unifier. And then a year later, Guitar Hero 2 came out in 2006. It improved the multiplayer aspect. There's 64 tracks in this guy, and this guy is available on PS2 and Xbox 360. Before we get too far into it, what's your favorite song on Guitar Hero 1? Ooh, okay, so this isn't my favorite song, but I just remember playing it as a kid, and I was like, dude, this is a badass. And that was Iron Man. I remember being able to play Iron Man I on the car. I am Iron Man. Yes, and I just remember like the, when it loaded, I was like, dude, am I a rock star? I just remember that feeling. So a lot of the songs that I'm going to talk about are my nostalgic feelings. They're not necessarily yeah. my favorites. Yeah. You know? I'm going to go with Ace of Spades, Motorhead. Oh, yes, um, that's another one. I just When that song, when you just hear it and you get a play it, it's just like, Ace of Spades. Oh, man, it's just, <laughs> oh, that riff is so good. So that, that would be mine from Guitar Hero 1. But anyway, back into Guitar Hero 2. You already mentioned, you know, 64 tracks, which yep. is expanding from the first, which had the 47. Yeah, which had yeah, a lot more tracks. Mm -hmm. it, it basically is the same game, but, you know, improved multiplayer. It looked a little bit better. It was just cool that there was a second one in the series and it's now spreading to different consoles. Favorite track off of two? 
Ah, uh, I'm gonna have to go with the Butthole Surfers, who was in my room last. Oh night. my god! I love dude. that Possum Kingdom. I believe was on here yes, too. Yes, it which was. Is, I'm a huge Toadies fan, so it's hard to not pick that. But who was in my room last night? Just oh, an amazing song. That's such a fun one to play. I really like playing Monkey Wrench, just because it's like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah, and you, it, I mean, you're a huge. Fan I'm a fan, huge. And so. Monkey Wrench is a badass yeah. track. Now the third one that got released is actually Rock the 80s. Which is exclusive to the PS2, Yes, correct? it is. And this is actually built on the Guitar Hero 2 engine. This came out in July of 2007. And here's a little fun fact about Guitar Hero Rock the 80s. This is the final Guitar Hero game to be developed by Harmonix, which is kind of crazy because the Neversoft came in. But like looking back, I always thought like Neversoft was part of all of them, but yeah. they weren't. Harmonix actually went on to make Rock Band, so they left Guitar Hero and then made a rival company. <clears throat> Which is kind of weird, and maybe Rock Band is better towards the later run, but Rock the 80s is awesome. I love how it's a PS2 exclusive, yeah. and it just focuses on 80s tracks. Yeah, and it's like that that cheesy 80s style kind of brought into Guitar Hero. It, it's one of the, it, it is the first what I would call expansion yeah, it was. of the game. And for my favorite song on it, um, I Ran by Flock of Seagulls. Um, that's the one thing about this game. Obviously, it's, it's called Rocks the 80s. But it focused more on the rock, the hair metal stuff, than like, I wish it would have had a, more of an emphasis on the new wave stuff. That would have been sweet. From the there 80s, are a couple tracks. There yeah. are, you know, so I ran Flock of Seagulls. Um, I would pick. So I grew up listening to 80s rock and hair metal, and man, just going back to the feeling of playing this song when this game came out was, I want to rock, man. And it, I just <laughs> felt like a rock star playing that. It's obviously not my favorite song on the whole track list, but just the feeling of playing that song when I was a kid just made me feel powerful. Now we are into the realm of Guitar Hero 3, which is where everything went multi-platform. You could argue that maybe at this point, this isn't the best version of Guitar Hero 3 to play because you could play it on the 360. The PS3. The PS3. And the Wii. Yeah, so the way we collect these is we pick our consoles so we're not like all over the board and need a bunch of guitars. So PS2 is our Guitar Hero yes. console and PS3 is our Rock Band console and we don't get the games on any other platforms because we don't want to have to have a bunch of guitars and drum sets it, and all it that. It does kind of suck because there is some games that are exclusive to certain consoles, yeah. but it's badass that we have 10 Guitar Hero games yeah, for the PS2. Yeah. Um, Guitar Hero 3 came out in 2007, October 2007, and it's the first game to be developed by Neversoft, which is badass. There were 73 tracks, so like they just kept adding more and more songs. I remember when Guitar Hero 3 came out, I was like overwhelmed, dude. It was badass. And this is the first one that has like rock and roll stars personified. And this is also the introduction to the wireless guitar. Yes, another original from when I was growing up. Dude, it... It's so cool, and this is the first pack to come with two guitars, so if you wanted to do, do co-op, you had to buy two games basically before this. Yeah, so another thing worth noting is with the wireless guitars coming in, for all you resellers out there, dongles yes. are really, really important. If you lose the dongle, which when you're out hunting and stuff like that, you find a ton of guitars, no, no dongle. dongle. The dongle, there's some money in that, but uh, I think this is a pretty cool game. I thought it was a cool step, and adding, you know, the rock stars into it made it kind of cool, because you know, sometimes you play as those fictional characters and it's like, man, I really wish I could play as, you know, whoever. It is It is funny, like, look, going back and looking at the characters because they're definitely based on professional rock stars, but they call them something different, mm -hmm. you know? So it's kind of fun. What is your favorite track from Guitar Hero 3? Um, Cool Thing by Sonic Youth. Oh, yeah. that's a pretty good yeah, track. Yeah, I, I love Sonic Youth, so. My favorite track, it could be just because I love this band, but The Metal by Tenacious D. Dude, oh, it's so, like, <laughs> it's so metal, dude. Guitar Hero 3 was such a cool, unique, game and there's a slight difference in the look of the game obviously mm -hmm. because the developer changed yep. but it, it is very similar so if you didn't quite know you would think it's just still part of the yep. same developers so now we get into another expansion which is the first of many that they started doing with specific bands. Yes, Aerosmith was the first full band focus, and yep. this is based on the Guitar Hero 3 engine. This came out of June 2008, and this is also available on PS2, PS3, Xbox 360, yeah. and Wii. Now, it's worth noting, these are the majority songs are exclusive to Aerosmith, but there are a few other bands on yes. there. Like, I think, you know, back in the day, I thought that it was, like, all those... No, what's you know, cool is, I loved this game growing up. I went through an Aerosmith phase when this came out, and it's cool because you 
basically go through the journey of Aerosmith's, you know, rise to fame, mm -hmm. and you play like the clubs they played at, and like some of the bands featured are bands that shared the stage with Aerosmith. Yeah, so very it's, cool. it's, it's very cool. It's like a history of Aerosmith. Yeah. What's your favorite track? Uh, Dream On. That's cool. probably my favorite uh, Aerosmith song in general. Yes. Um, I love the, the you know towards the end of the song, the very high. I'm not even gonna try doing it, but the very high pitched, uh, you know, Dream On. It's just one of those Dream vocal on. recordings. It's up there with one of the best sounding vocal recordings I've ever heard. That is a great track. I love that song, but I think my favorite has to be Back in the Saddle. Dude, that song is just, it's just rock and roll, and man. It makes you feel like you're back in the saddle. Yeah, it does. It makes you feel like I'm freaking Aerosmith, man. Joe Perry. Better than being Joe Pesci, I guess. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> All right, now we move on to Guitar Hero World Tour. This technically is Guitar Hero 4, Yeah. but they called it World Tour. This came out of October 2008. And this is when they started kind of getting their teeth kicked in by a rock band, yes. I feel like. And this is their answer to them, bringing a full band experience because you can sing, play drums, bass, bass and guitar. Yes, which is awesome. I feel like right around this time frame, is it fair to say this is maybe the beginning of the end for yep. Guitar Hero? Not that this is a bad effort, but Rock Band was doing it so well. Yeah, it, it was just it was just better done. Yeah, you know? and, and you start seeing, I mean, we're, we're six games in, in what? Four years. Four year span. Yeah. It kind of started feeling oversaturated, and they were kind of just jumping on the train, do, trying to do what Rock Band was doing. Not that they did it bad, but I think Rock Band just was doing it slightly better. So Guitar Hero World Tour, what are your thoughts of it? Um, I love this. I remember it was awesome because I'd go over to my cousin. He had this for the Wii as well, and he had the full band, and it was badass, even though I did like Rock Band slightly better. But I'm a Guitar Hero kid. <laughs> and it's cool because World Tour offered for the first time song creation mode. So you could like write your own songs and make your own songs and then post them, play other people's songs. I think that was super creative. And then this also had 86 tracks, so they just keep adding more and more songs, yeah, yeah. which is so cool. It's hard to think that they could fit all that, you know, with especially with all the different instrumentation configurations. Yes. That's pretty impressive. Well, around this point and then the rest of the games, load times start to struggle really Especially bad. on the PS2. On the PS2, yes. Yeah, like we've already mentioned, but this is available on a bunch of other consoles, so it's pushing the PS2 to the max. And you can feel the PS2 it's like, oh, I fucking hate you. And the load times are so <laughs> slow. But what is your favorite track from World War? Uh, Spiderwebs uh, by uh, No Doubt. I, I, okay. I'm a big No Doubt fan. That's, so. that's a pretty good pick. Yeah. Mine goes back because I remember playing it and I remember like you get all the band set up and the way the song starts and that's crazy train. <laughs> oh, dude, the intro to that just made me feel like a rock made star. Made you go off the rails, dude. Yeah, dude. Like you were on a crazy common train. thread, man. And I just, oh, dude, it's so sweet. I remember when World Tour came out, I thought I was so cool because I would play songs that I knew very well and I was playing bass and singing at the same time. Which is kind of tough. You have to know the lyrics yeah. very well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, and and these are very different than playing guitar in real life yes. and singing at the same time, because <clears throat> this is all rhythm based and specific notes as opposed to chords. I mean, there are a few chord fingerings and things like that, but it's, but it's really it's tough. It's not the same. And like, if you're used to playing chords, it's very confusing. Yeah. There, if you play on like the harder difficulties, like harder expert, you know, there's a lot more chords and mm -hmm. it's, it's kind of closer to the song, but it's, you know, very and on the beat. It may be worth noting. Robert is, easily a hundred times maybe more better than me at this game like i i love the games but i suck at them i played them so much so like on my original guitar this is how much i played it and how much i used to suck there's tape right here because i would i would put on expert mode and i would tape over the green button so i could shift my fingers down I was like eight or something when you know when the games came out, and so I love how the tape is still there. But now I can play it with all yeah. five, you know, because I'm an expert. Yeah, I mean, yeah, of course. <laughs> Another expansion. Yep. This one's really cool. Metallica. Metallica. Yep. This came out in March 2009. This is also available on PS2, PS3, Xbox 360, yep. and the Wii. And continues with the full band experience. Yes, this is built on the World Tour engine, so it's very similar to that, but it focuses on Metallica, which is so sweet. Yeah. You know, I'm not the biggest Metallica fan, but there is something to be said with, with how important they are to rock and roll. Yes. And this game feels like, of the games you know, beyond World Tour, this is probably my favorite one, just because they have so many just epic songs. And I, I would say my favorite song on this, uh, it's a landslide, is No Leaf Clover. I oh, just that's a great always love that song and I feeling like you're playing it live and it's just that song's just a journey. Of the spinoffs, that's probably my favorite one. Um, I think Aerosmith's my favorite just because I went through a huge phase and I played it front to back so many times. My favorite track off Metallica is For Whom the Bell Tolls, but that's just a common Metallica uh, I song. I mean, yeah, and it's, Time Marches On. Yeah, too. it's a great song. <laughs> one thing that's cool to mention about Metallica, though, is this is the introduction of the 
double bass drum because the drummer of Metallica had a double bass. Good old Lars. Yeah, so it was cool because it was called Expert Plus Mode. So if you were a really good drummer, I've never experienced it because I suck at drums on these types of games. I just suck at drums in real life. It's hard to do the foot at the same time, but it's really cool that they did that. Yeah, very cool. So the next expansion pack, which is kind of cool. It's like a greatest hits. It's called Guitar Hero Smash Hits. Yeah. This came out in 2009. Yes. It's kind of a greatest hits from the Guitar Hero series, but what's cool is some of the games they picked from the early games that did not have full band capabilities yes. do have full band capabilities in this iteration. Well, yeah, which so, is badass. So it's like the best of one, two, world tour, three, yeah. but it's the full band. Yep. There's only 48 tracks in this, which is crazy because it's a best of, yeah. and the other games had way more songs than that. But the song track list on this kit is awesome, and it's so cool. But again, load times struggle on the PS2 with this game. I think by this next entry, so we have Guitar Hero 5, I kind of feel like the franchise at this point, yeah. the wheels had kind of fallen off, and given full way almost to Rock Band. Rock Band was, um, was now taking yeah. over, yeah. I always felt like this kind of had a Rock Band look to it. It does. Um, it, 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 from it a kind marketing of, standpoint. It kind of went away from the grungy rock punk scene. Yeah. You know, just, I, I don't know, they, they lost their way around this point. So 5 came out in September of 09. It's also available on PS2, PS3, Xbox 360, and Wii. There's 85 tracks on this, which is awesome. But and, it struggles on the PS2. Yeah, it's super slow. Mm -hmm. But they added another feature called the drop in and drop out mode so people can come and go as they please like mid song, which is super yeah, cool. Yeah, very cool. Uh, we did not pick a favorite song off of Smash Hits, so let's just kind of double okay. up here. Uh, my favorite song on Smash Hits, um, which actually happens to be, I believe, on Guitar Hero 1 as well, but that got beat by Ace of Spades. I'm gonna go with Thunder Kiss 65. <laughs> what is fun riff oh, to play? It's, that's a fun song to drive to. Like every time I drive around, I just can't control myself. I have people look in the front, like this guy's a lunatic. <laughs> it's driving um, 96 miles per hour. <laughs> um, and then for Guitar Hero 5, Sultans of Swing, Dire oh, Straits. Dude, you just uh, love that song in general. Obsessed with that song. <laughs> love the band, but that song is one of my favorite songs ever. I love um, it. From Smash Hits, I'm gonna have to go with Cycle Billy Freak Out. It's such a weird song. Reverend Horton Heat. And I never knew that song existed until I played it. I didn't play it on Smash. I think it was on 2, technically, but I was like, what is this song? This song's crazy. And then my favorite song from 5, I just love this band, and that's Rock Show by Blink-182. It's just a fun, you know, it, you just felt like a punk rocker. It was yeah. just Blink-182 style. Yeah. The last game on the PS2 as far as Guitar Hero goes anyways, yes. is the Van Halen spinoff. I've never been a big Van Halen fan. You guys can, you know, yell too at me for that. Too soon. Dude. Yeah, I know. Too I just, soon. something about them. I've just never loved their sound. I uh, just never have. There's a ton of people who do like them, yeah. but they've I, just never been my flavor. I love Van Halen. I've seen you a couple times. Um, this game came out in December 2009. And it actually had mixed reviews. It's available on PS2, PS3, Xbox 360, and Wii. But the reviews of this game are mixed. It's inferior quality to the rest of the games. It just felt like it was rushed. There's not much depth to it. If you're a Van Halen fan, it's really sweet because there's a lot of great Van Halen songs, but there's so many great songs that didn't put on the game, which is weird. I just feel like it was rushed. Four it, Guitar Hero games came out in the same year. Yeah, 2009, right? Yeah. So starting with Metallica and then five smash hits of that one yeah, they in just one year. Pushing them out like three months, which is too much. I think that is part of what played into this fizzling out so fast. It was just too much too soon. Um, and then you also had Rock Band, which eventually I think suffered the same fate. Yeah. But cranking out multiple iterations. They even went into the specific band ones with like the ACDC, oh, yep. blah, blah, blah. And then there was like the spin-offs of that, like DJ Hero and yeah. all this other stuff. And obviously there's way more guitar heroes. There's stuff on like the DS and mm -hmm. stuff like that, which is cool. And then other consoles. But there's just so many in the I series. think it got a little crazy too. Like if you were a fan, and, and, and this is why we collect these games the way that we do, is we pick a specific console. But I think it got tough for people if they had been having Guitar Hero for their kids on like a PS2 and they had the drums and they had the microphone but now their kid let's say has a 360 or a PS3 now you gotta buy all that shit again yes and it's not cheap you know and and so I think it was just really tough because you had to have so many different peripherals to do it the way that you want and I, I think it made it tough for people to keep wanting to, to spend that money on new versions and blah 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 and then obviously this series for Guitar Hero continued on into the current gen with 
Guitar uh, Hero Live, Live, which is just kind of a dumpster fire. Maybe some it's, people out I mean, there like it, but when I first got it, it was cool because you could play along to music videos. Mm -hmm. Like the live aspect with the crowd was cool. There was like two strings technically, but it just didn't have the same charm as yeah. these do. What's your favorite track from Van Halen, real quick? Oh, um, Six 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 by uh, Queens of the Stone Age. I love how you didn't pick a Van Halen song, and I love how <laughs> I didn't either, even though I really love Van Halen. But Master Exploder by Tenacious D, I didn't realize it was on Van Halen. It's two Tenacious D songs. I know. Oh, I love Tenacious D. <laughs> Master Exploder, I remember discovering on Rock Band. Dude, the vocals in Master Exploder where he hits that high note, I would try singing that all the time and just... <laughs> Did you ever hit it? I A couple of times, but I, I could see my mom going like this. <laughs> but dude, it's such a badass track. Yeah. That's actually how I discovered it. Tenacious D is because of Rock Band. Very cool. So I really think cool. the Guitar Hero Rock Band era for that generation of, of kids maybe growing up, which you, you would have been. I think when the first one came out, you would have been 11 years old. Yes. You know, I think it was a great conduit to... There's so many people like that I would maybe talk to at a Toady show, for instance, that said, oh, I love Possum Kingdom. And I'm like, oh, yeah, how long have you been following? I'm like, oh, I heard it on Guitar Hero. That's and I'm like. Ass. That's weird, but that's cool because it introduced a lot of maybe more... There's a lot of obscure bands that yes. kind of got a chance to be re-noticed because of Guitar Hero. I also think it was a great conduit to maybe pushing some kids into picking up instruments. Yes, and which was really sweet. Music is the universal language of life, and I think it is a beautiful thing. So anything that was a conduit to those type of things, um, I, I'm a big fan of because I think... Um, as far as rock and stuff like that, it's uh, we got to get instruments in kids' hands yes. and give them a voice and let them get their creative energies out. And I think Guitar Hero helped do that. So I, I will mean, always love this franchise because Guitar Hero definitely inspired me to play guitar. I played bass growing up in orchestra and then kind of quit because practicing sucked. And then Guitar Hero came out and I was like, dude, I'm really good at this. I'm going to be good at guitar. Yeah. Um, I wasn't and I'm still not. But I, I know how to play guitar now because of Guitar Hero. And it's just, yeah, it just got me excited. And then I remember... When uh, that game came out where you could play a real instrument, and yeah. play, that was what really was that sweet. Guitar, uh, what was that called? Rocksmith. Yes, Rocksmith. Yeah, That was so sweet. Yeah. And so I feel like that became a thing because of Guitar Hero. For you know? sure, yeah. It started yeah. so many things. There was some, you know, cynical bastard, kind of like I was early on. It's like, well, I need to make a game where you really play guitar, see if these kids can really do it. <laughs> So and they did. They so called it did. Rocksmith. And the and guy's name was actually Smith that created that game. Yeah, and his first name was Rock. And it's it, it, that was a great game. <laughs> what do you think of this beer by Oakshire from, theme from the bottom, strawberry pineapple banana smoothie sour ale? I don't know if there's any way for you guys to see inside of that glass without me spilling it on the floor. But this is the thickest, closest thing to drinking a yogurt smoothie Dude. in beer form. It tastes like a strawberry banana smoothie. It is amazing. I can't even believe this is considered beer. I know. There's like particles of few puree so, and banana all around so the side of the glass. Sick, man. There's chunks floating in it. This is freaking delicious, man. Dude, it tastes like someone literally just made a smoothie in a blender and poured it into my glass. It tastes like the fruit flavor is Unreal. so fresh. It's only 5%, so it's not crazy percent in volume alcohol. But it's really good. Like, yeah, this is just incredible brew. Anyone would like this. Holy yeah. fuck. And I'm sure someone in the comment section, maybe that guy who made fun of us for drinking fruity beers, is going to, you know, rev up his old engine and say something stupid. And so if you do, fuck off. <laughs> Anyways, Guitar Hero, it is what it is, man. We have the yes. complete set on the oh. PS2. Makes me so happy, man. It was a game changer, but it was kind of a flash in the pan. Yes. Dude, these, all 10 of these games came out within five years. Four it's years. Insane. 10 insane. games came out in four years, plus more on other consoles. That's what you call That's oversaturation. But if you yeah. grew up and had a PS2 when it was hot, I have a feeling somewhere in your little black heart, you've got a soft spot for Guitar Hero. I know we do. Yes. Guys, thank you so much for going through all the Guitar Hero games, talking PS2 stuff, reminiscing about video game nostalgia. We always appreciate you tuning in and subscribing to the channel. We'll see you next time right here on Gaming Off The Grid. The last game on the PS2, as far as Garth... And sit back, relax, pour yourself a beer if you care to, and let's... And let's shred. Give this a fucking... Chunkers in there. What the fuck, dude? It's like drinking like a yogurt smoothie, dude.
It tastes like fresh fruit, man. <laughs> I feel like I just, like, someone made this right now, like, blended it together. Oh my god. That is unbelievable. And people say you can't be healthy if you drink beer. Yeah. yeah. What do they know? What do they know? I'll tell you what, right now they don't know shit. <laughs> That's so good. Man. Okay. <laughs>